Today I'm painting the town red, Billy Barnum, author of Move Over Shakespeare, Tales from the Bear. All right, we're on our way to Shakespeare Theater. Yes, you're thinking Shakespeare Theater? Because we're in Stratford, Connecticut. It's named after a town in England, which is called Stratford upon Avon, England. And that's where Stratford, Connecticut got its name from. Now, of course, the Shakespeare Theater's here because of that as well. We're gonna go check out a statue, which is called The Thinker, which I think is the famous statue about The Thinker in England as well. So this is a lot of history coming up on us. And Stratford, Connecticut was established in 1639, a long time ago. There it is, there comes, there comes The Thinker. Right there, look at that. Too bad it's all boarded up. And the journey begins. So here we are on an overcast day in Stratford, Connecticut. Grew up here. I now live in Ansonia, Connecticut, which is not too far from here, but it's a, you know, not too small of a town, but not too big of a town. It kind of is a small town. Uh, condominiums over there, they never used to be there when I was younger. The marsh here is pretty damn cool, got to say that. They got the trees, the scenery is phenomenal. Getting ready to go hang with our buddy the thinker. There's a guy parked back here with his trunk open. Let's hope there's not a body in or something because we might have to run back to the car and take off real quick. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Right up the pathway. What is that hunk of twisted rusty metal? Is that like a sculpture or something someone made? That's insane. Right next to the thinker. Almost looks like a dragon or something, don't it? What is that? It's a sculpture. Now, if you look over there, really quick, that big empty lot, there was a huge Shakespeare theater there recently. Unfortunately, it burnt down and there's nothing but an empty lot now. It's sad. Very, very sad. But no matter what happened to that building, this thinker will never, ever, ever take that. It is a sculpture, right? Is that it? Oh, is that it? That's probably a memorial. That's part of Shakespeare Theater. Someone made a memorial thing. That's in the piece of burnt wood. That's kind of cool, man. So here he is, my buddy. Insane. Solid. Solid as a rock. A couple of boards under his feet. No matter what, he ain't going nowhere. This guy's awesome. What do you think about that? Hold on, he'll, he'll tell you. Well, maybe he's not going to talk, but he's thinking. I can tell you that. So anyway, uh, I was born in Bridgeport, but I grew up in the projects, South End Projects in Stratford. Wasn't the easiest place to live. And obviously I grew up in humble beginnings. There were times that uh, I was hungry and I had a wish sandwich for lunch. Take two pieces of bread, two pieces of bread, and I wish I had some meat in. That was my food. Or I can have a jam sandwich. Not the kind you're thinking of. Take two pieces of bread and I jam them together. That was my food. But I made it. I'm here. And that's what matters. No matter how hard it was, it brings you to this stage in life. You appreciate all the little things when you grow up in humble beginnings and things are not handed to you. I have a book out right now. It's called Move Over Shakespeare Tales from the Baron. And like I said, oddly enough, 
how ironic is it that I'm standing here with the thinker and what used to be Shakespeare Theater, and the name of my book is Move Over Shakespeare Tales from the Baron. It's kind of crazy to me, but I spent a lot of days here, definitely. Actually, a lot of nights as well. We always waited for him to talk. He still has never said nothing to this day, but he's thinking. We're sitting in a burnt out piece of wood commem commemorating the Shakespeare Theater that burnt down. Pretty awesome looking. I never seen nothing like this, this big. Could you imagine how big this tree had to be for this to be this big around? So this is kind of awesome. So when I read The Black Rose, I thought and still think, to me, it's one of the greatest poems ever written. And I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that wherever it came from, somebody put this in my mind to write this. And whoever was putting this in mind was a very great writer. Who knows, maybe it was Shakespeare or somebody like that. And they had more stuff to write and they were channeling through me, I don't know. It's called The Unforgotten Tale, Black Rose. This is the first poem in my book. The rose that burns before my eyes will soon, my friend, again arise. My soul that burns with strong desire to finally lit the rose on fire. My life has been a tragic waste. I do not bleed, but blood I taste. The rose was black like night, my child, like the stein I rode when I was wild. The sun's no more, the earth I see will linger in my memory. When I am gone, please carry on and journey to the quest of sun. This magic seed that seems bestilled was once the rose that evil killed. My fondest wish, I'll now behold the rose that grows so true and bold. In blackest night, just like it was, and give it light and give it love. If tales were told about the thorn, I'll tell you one, but do be warned. The rose that burned so big and high that reached into the mystic sky. The world that shook, the sky turned black. The children cried and the moon it cracked. I feared this once, but I never knew that a sky so black was once so blue. The fate you see is in your hand, so go my son and make a plan. The rose that grows one day again, but only you would know just when. And when it does, all that you see will only be a memory. <laughs> Thanks, man. This concludes this segment. Stay tuned for more. So anyway, pick up my book, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, BooksAmain.com, anywhere you can get books, any bookstore, pick it up, check it out. Thank you. There's a boat pulling in over there, right next to the marina. Um, he might have been fishing, maybe he is, he looks like he's doing something. Maybe he was trolling for something, and he's done for the day. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit brisk out here. It's an overshadowed, casty day. And basically, looks like it might even start raining soon, but... This is it, man. This is one of the marinas in... Uh, Stratford, Connecticut. There's another marina down the street as well. It's kind of a cool place to grow up. Um, I pretty much wrote all my poems from the book. 
here in Stratford, Connecticut. I wrote most of them when I was younger. 